going everybody welcome back to another stream hope everybody is having a wonderful beautiful day boys today is um kind of an insane day there's a lot going on all at once out of nowhere 10 to 7 ptr is now live there's a lot of stuff for us to take a look at this friday they got a new mode coming to wow uh there's going to be available for testing on ptr this one is actually getting tested compared to blunderstorm uh which is uh awesome uh, I cannot wait. Friday is duels day, which I'm a little bit sad by. I think we'll still do duels, but I'll probably still have a video out on Friday, I think, of the new mode whenever that's available. Probably before the actual stream goes up. But yeah, that's uh, uh, there's a lot going on. There's a lot to take a look at. I haven't like mapped everything out just yet. I've been just... Oh, it's been a lot. How y'all doing? Welcome back. Hope everybody's having a wonderful evening. I'm going to be taking a look at the new stuff right now uh, with the PTR. Hope you guys enjoy the ride with me. So hyped. It does look like an awesome patch, doesn't it? 10 to 7 is not a big update. Like, we're not getting a new raid. We're not getting... I mean, I guess we are getting an old raid, right? We're getting four of them, in fact. All the Pandaria raids, all Pandaria dungeons, every scenario, the entire zone to level through from 10 to 70 with all the abilities. Tan Man raiding is making a return. I don't even know what class is going to play and feel like. This is awesome, man. Whatever they're doing with this, is it, this is... Uh, this is the thing. Let me get the music back up and running. How you boys all doing though? Hope everybody's having a good one. Um, yeah, PTR stuff. Gonna take a look at it. 10 to 7, not 10 to 6 this time around. This is weird, man. <laughs> this is all weird. Did you guys watch the video I posted just uh, like an hour ago? It basically goes over this entire mode. It sounds really good. This whole new mode sounds absolutely fantastic. Uh, here we go. Dude, I'm still sad to have beta for Kata. I actually really want to check out the beta, although it's broken. It's not like there's a lot to check out anyway, right? So, there's that. Oh, man. Looks like Evoke DH is going to be available for this mode. I imagine so. We'll see, right? Once we once we hit Friday, we'll have a better idea of what this is going to look like. Although there are some scrolls. If you're, like, missing a class, you should be able to... Oh, here we go. Why oh, the server's so low? Okay, well, I got a bunch of characters on Broxigar. Hold on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, let's see. I need to do uh, this thing, too. Wow up. All right, I got to update on Broxigar because things are probably going to get all kind of busted, I imagine. Uh, also, I need to do graphics before my OBS freaks out. Uh... We're just increasing the FPS. I switched over from a... I have a, a Harney 44 hertz monitor, right? So the game looks super, super smooth. I've been running that thing as a 120 hertz for like a bit now. Um, and I kind of like switched back to 144. So I need to kind of adjust it. Hopefully this isn't bug. Okay, we're chilling. This used to be a problem. It's a bug all the time, constantly. What character do I hop on, man? Does it matter? I guess I'll do the mage. Dal wizard. Why am I in Shadowlands? It was offline all of yesterday. 
PTR? Yeah, it wasn't up until today. It's only came up today. So there's a lot to take a look at, boys. Boys, uh, there's a lot. Oh. Is this where I had this character? No, shot. I remember this spot. I was trying to get some B-roll for uh, Shadowlands Mound video. Okay, so this is not far off, actually. Yeah, this is basically a 10 to 5. Okay, so these characters are actually kind of sort of set up then. Oh, Kata, you mean? Yeah, Kata apparently has been in a lot of trouble, like, testing-wise. I have no idea. Dude, I'm hoping Kata gets a second breath of fresh air, man. Wait, are the new training post stuff? It's not up yet. Because they already posted, like, some of the uh, upcoming training post stuff for June, July, August. One of those months. Oh, God. Look at everybody here, man. Everybody out here. Holy. Holy, dude. I love this. Wait, can you do dungeons? Wait. Hold on. Premier groups. Dungeons. Look at that. Oh, my God. Testing group tools. Signing in. Hi, Max. I want to try to see if I can join him. Maybe I can see, like, who is signing up for the groups and whatnot. Look at that. Declined. Uh-oh. So, wait. Oh, I thought Decline would put him on the bottom, though, wouldn't it? Never mind. I guess not. Huh. Hold on. What if I start a group? Uh, Ruby Life Pools. Wait. Do I have to do Everbloom? Everbloom test. I want to see if anybody joins me. Yo, can somebody join me on Everbloom test? If it works. Or is it not working? Hold on. Do I got to change it? Hold on. Let me delist it. Let me delist. Let me make it a, uh, like, uh, Naltharis. Nelth test. Let me put it right here, yeah? Am I showing up? Oh! <laughs> oh my god. He's damaged. No major in group, has a tank, has a healer. Wow, you can see, oh wow, look at this. They added more ways to like search for parties, search for groups in 10 to 7 for UI stuff. So you can really search for stuff. Can you guys find me? Hold on, needs damage, has a tank, has a healer. Is my group gonna be in there? I'm trying to see if I can find my own group. Only Max can join this group. That's fine. I mean, that's, aww. The nerf Tyvon. Dude, buff Tyvon back up. Make his saddle tiny, but like, give us the big Clifford dog, man. I want Clifford. I'm, I don't even have Clifford, dude, and I can't even ride the big Clifford yet. Can one of you guys join me, by the way? Could somebody find me, or are you guys having a hard time finding me in, to begin with? Boys, can somebody find me in the group real quick? <laughs> what the quest said? Oh yeah, there are new quests in here, isn't there? Hold on a second. Is that because I have War Mode on, by the way? Maybe? Hold on. Let me also do this. Maybe this will work. Uh, misplaced my keystone. Let me see if I can list my key through that. Start a group. There we go. Throw in the tides plus two, because I actually have the key. I don't know if it'll bug out or not, but we'll see. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any other groups, but I, would think, I was thinking I would see my group. <coughs> Who's on? Wait, can you find me or is it not working? Hold on, Jake. Are you are you seeing the group? Or should I change it to like maybe heroic or something? Because I imagine it's already used in season four like dungeon rule sets. I was on 10 to 6, hi Dal. Oh, okay. Hop on 10 to 7 real quick. I just want to see what it all looks like. I'll log over. Hey, hey, how you doing, my man? Hope you're doing pretty good. What is it, Bilak? I have no idea how to say your name, man, but how are you doing? Oh, Awakened Crest Exchange. Oh, so these guys are going to be out here for the Crest stuff. Oh, okay, the new stuff. Okay, new Crest. They're going to be here. Oh, Aspects Dreaming could become Worm Crest? Yo, what? Hold on a second. You're telling me these can become Worm Crest? No! Is this real? Bro! No, 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 no! Hold on a second! Wait, load up on the Aspect Crest before the season is over, chat! Because it looks like you can take the Season 3 Crest, the big Aspect Crest, and turn them into Worm Crest to upgrade gear! Bro! No shot! 
<laughs> oh, I'm converting. I'm doing conversions to get as many of those as I can then. Lordy. Possible season four tuning for trinkets. Wait, what is this? Call of Chaos Primary Stat Reduced. Ah, it makes sense, right? Primary Stat's reduced by 15. Which one is this one? Mage Pally one? Oh, these are the good ones. Yeah, the crap one didn't get touched. Damage reduced by 15. Damage increased by 1.5. Oh, 1.25. Can cast while moving. Pog. The best change ever. Holy. Ultra Hard Mana Scale increased by 44. Trash. It's still probably really good. Or it is mana down. It's still probably insane. I'm not even kidding you. 588. It is still probably best in slot. It's in, it's good uptime. All damage training is reduced by five. Okay. 25% damage reduction. That hurts, but makes sense. Secondary stats scale reduced by 70%. Okay, they're trying to make it more even with all the other ones. That's what they're doing. Okay. Wow. Uh, another thing they added here is... No. What? No. Okay, chat. So, okay, I'm all over the place. What has happened? So, uh, let me go over through exactly what's happening. So, patch 1027 came out on PTR. Uh, it's not fully implemented as there's a new feature that's going to be part of 1027. Oh, I see you here. I see you. More dots. You're not, you know, you're, you're showing up as a tank, Blood DK, and I guess it's showing your rating and throwing the tides. So I guess that's working out okay. Huh. I hit accept. I don't know if that makes a difference or not. But at least you can see me, so that's cool. Hell yeah. Not like we can actually do anything on this at all. But yeah. So 10 to 7 is coming out uh, on PTR. It is going to be a patch with testing. Part of 10 to 7 is going to be, well, a lot of things. So. I guess I should probably slow down a little, huh? I'm a little excited, man. So 10 to 7 is going to be a patch that doesn't necessarily have new dungeons, new raids, but also it does. It's going to have a new mode called WoW Remix Mr. Pandari Event. So, you know how Plunderstorm is a big experimental event where you play WoW, but like in a different way? That's basically going to be Mr. Pandari Remix. Basically, you get to go through a lit, uh, it's a time limited event, like Plunderstorm, where you get to re-experience the entirety of Mr. Pandaria. With a new character that's accelerated leveling rate. You start out at level 10 and you'll level through 70 through all of Mr. Pandaria's content. Questing, treasures, rares, bosses, dungeons, scenarios, raids. And it's been completely overhauled to allow players to basically collect powers as you're leveling and out in the open world. So instead of like unlock, I mean, I don't really know how classes are going to play in this mode. Maybe it'll be a classless system, kind of like Plunderstorm. We don't really have all the details yet, but as you level, as you do stuff, quests and loot treasures in Pandaria, you'll get gear with gem sockets. But instead of putting normal gems for like haze, crit, mastery, versatility, think of them closer to primordial gems in the Onyx Unlit Ring with the patch 1007. If you didn't play that, don't worry about it. But if you played, it's going to be very, very similar to it. So there's a lot of different gems. Like one gem will make lightning appear all around you, but also it'll do a heal to your allies, giving a haze buff. Another gem will turn you into a lightning orb, turning the player into an orb of lightning, shocking enemies around you, but you can't really move as well. You're immune to crowd control and you take a lot less damage, so it's more like a defensive ability. Then there's some going to be some gems for mobility, so you can teleport or charge or roll, kind of like a monk. There's going to be other gems for like enhance your crits with extra explosions. So every time you crit, you have fiery explosions that fire off out of your character. Or maybe your abilities will be tinged with a bit of frost where they'll slow down the enemy until eventually the root them and then case him in an ice. So haste heavy classes that use a lot of attacks might end up benefit from it and there's a lot of different combinations where you can combine these gems as well as armor with special effects and trinkets and it's just kind of all over the place right every piece of armor you get has a new gives you basically new ability in a way and you use that to super power up your character and you'll be able to go through all of the dungeons all of the raids scenarios of Mr. Pandarium playing through them all over again with the content scaled to you You'll be able to earn a bunch of transmogs as well as mounts, some of the recolors of the un or unreleased recolorations of some of the Mr. Pandaria mounts. So like a different version of a Phoenix or a different version of a Celestial, um, what is it, uh, Serpent? 
So you know that serpent, the one that's like star-like in Vault of the Mogushan Vaults? You can get a yellow version of it, or maybe other recolors. And apparently other un no longer obtainable items will be purchasable there as well. Any gear you collect in here that you could get as a mog to use on retail. But also if there's any items that don't, let's say, fit your build, you can always exchange them for this new currency called bronze. And you'll be able to spend bronze to buy cosmetics. So if you're just trying to do this thing just for cosmetics, you will be able to do so. And apparently there's a ton of them. They are still being data mined. But if you want to see some of the cosmetics that they're kind of pulling up on Wowhead right now, like weapons, this voidy mace flail thing, the sword, which is actually available on the uh, training post, but this is like a deeper blue version, at least in like the held by the looks of it. Uh, a red version, which looks awesome. This combo of orange uh, shield and sword. This, I, I assume, whole set. Either this is going to be a trading post item, or this is going to be one of those sets you can get in the new mode. It's hard to tell. They're just kind of data money, so, but potentially, scuba suit. They got cloaks, a bunch of different cloaks from different expansions, and it looks like you'll be able to get cosmetics of other expansions if you want to. So let's say you never played Shadowlands and skipped out on it, which is a lot of people did, but you'll still want to get cosmetics, you should be able to purchase a bunch of them. They did discover there's like 300 different recolors of TBC items, weapons, mostly for the most part, 300 of them of original iconic TBC items, and maybe you'll be able to find those also on the new vendor for the bronze currency. Then you could also have a whole chicken coop on your back if you want as a back piece. So that is one of the items that they kind of showed off. Uh, then there's also the chance drum salad hat that can be put on your back by the looks of it. So either a back slot or a helm slot. But hey, if you're a Pandara and you want to really just embrace that full Pandara look, this is dope. I think every Pandara monk is going to enjoy this, man. Yeah, it's a PvE mode, right? So this is like, think Plunder Storm in terms of like the experimental stuff and the powers, but you're doing more or less the same stuff that you're more familiar with. So instead of a battle royale, you're questing, you're collecting treasures, you're killing rares, some might be a little bit more challenging, dungeons, scenarios of Pandaria, gotta go through entire cadence of Mr. Pandaria if you want to. So if you want to do the storylines of like patch 5.1, 5.2, 5.3, like the main story quest, you could do that in this new mode. And 10 men raiding is returning by the looks of it. But then there's also structuring the raids a little bit. Like your characters are gonna be super powered. So like going into these heroic highest difficulty for raids is gonna be heroic, kind of like how it was back in the MOP. But your characters are also gonna be like super super powered up you know, through all the different gems and abilities you can unlock. Again, not quite sure how classes are gonna play into it. However, you'll be very happy to hear this too. All characters that you level through this version of Mr. Pandaria, this WoW Remix mode, all of them, you keep what you collect in this mode. So you'll be able to take a collection of transmogs into War Within, but also it looks like you'll be able to, I'm pretty sure I read this earlier, maybe I need to look it up again. Let me scroll up. It sounded like you'll be able to take the character that you make in this mode into the next expansion also. Let me see if I can find that special, uh, like, snippet over here. It's like creating your new identity, create new character. So you create a new character, kind of like how you do for Plunderstorm. This is going to be available for testing, by the way, Friday. It's not available for testing as of this moment. Is it like SOD runes? Kind of, but they're attached to gear. So kind of, actually, yeah. SOD runes do go in gear, don't they? Yeah, that's actually kind of like SOD in a way. You're not wrong. <laughs> I'm stand corrected. You're not wrong. Anyway, from this uh, mode, you'll be able to make a character the Sarah at level 10, you'll level into 70. Uh, you'll only be able to play with characters, take a part of this event. Characters in the creation screen will only be uh, able to play this remix mode event. We'll have you ic uh, have the icon, so like, characters made for remix will only play in remix, so you can't mix your main character or remix character. Like, you make a character in remix for that mode specifically, right? Um... Uh, they can be easily identified. Once you created a character, you'll begin your journey to Tramazas, meet up with the infinite. It looked like... Didn't I read this earlier that you'll be able to take this character into War Within? Am I wrong about that? Oh, additional character slots will be available to make room for the real character. Wait. Uh, additional character slots will be available so you have room for your new full level uh, your hero to join you and continue adventures. For your new uh, fully leveled... Wait, what? Hold on. It's here, right? Collect a variety of powerful items and transmogs to make your transmogs with uh, with you. Continue adventures in war. Uh, wait, 
Then take your transmogs with you to continue adventures and more within. Additional character slots will be available so that you have room in the new leveled and fully geared hero to join you. So when it said uh, new fully leveled and fully geared hero to join you and continue adventures in the world within Saga, makes it sound like you'll be able to take this character into War Within. Now I'm starting to think about it like, did I get that wrong? Because that's how I read it. Additional characters also will be available so then you have room for your new fully... So then you'll have room for your new fully leveled and fully geared hero, which is what you'll be playing in this, to join you your continued adventures in the World Within Saga. Oh, all remix characters created during the event will convert to a standard character to play with Modern Warcraft at the end of the event. Yeah, so once the event is over, those remix characters can continue to be played into War Within. So basically, if you don't have Dragonflight and you still want to get a character prepped for 70 before without having to play Dragonflight, but want to basically be prepped for War Within, you can just play the remix level character 70. When the expansion is about to drop, you're like, all right, I am going to play it. I'm going to buy the new expansion. Now you're going to commit so you don't have to do pre-orders or whatever. Then you commit. Then you have the character ready to go. Basically, yes. I can't read. There's a rule in Discord as well as on YouTube that says Dal can't read. And I'm, I was 100% sure I read that correctly. And I'm like trying to find it. I'm like, did I misread it somewhere? <laughs> I almost gaslit myself it to go into the video I released earlier and just adding like, hey, editorial, uh, I messed up. Oopsies. <laughs> oh man, I'm dumb. I am dumb. Mount collection time running panda. Wait, hold on. I want to do this now. Mount time running, right? Time running. Oh, oh, look at that time running pandemonium. Look at this. There we go. These are the mounts, by the way, Chad. These are the mounts. You got the Phoenix mount. You got yaks, screamers, juggernaut from time, all time running. This thing, that's like a storm mount. Hell yeah! The goats! The goat fell? Holy! Golden disc? <laughs> Probably the most lame one, honestly. Uh, I mean, discs are cool. I mean, discs are so cool, guys. Oh, <laughs> Kaffa Yak? Hell yeah, dude. Marble Queen. Oh, dude. Yeah, I like this one in particular. This green one? Oh, Moosha, dude! Fail hide, Moosha beast! Shadow Pan Tiger? I love tigers. Something's wrong with his eyeballs, I feel like, though. Ooh! River Walker Mushan. Rose Riding Crane. Sky Surfer. I like the goats. I like the goats and a real, like, uh, this one, Night Terrowing. That looks awesome. Alright, so there's also another thing that's coming out with 10. Oh, yeah, you can also... All the all mounts, like Dragon Riding mounts. Wait, Dragon Rain mounts are found at the top of your list. Favorite one to use it with a random summon? Said favorite. Cool, okay, it's giving me too many, like, okay, I get it. But yeah, they uh, organized the mounts a little bit, so you could actually see, like, filters of mounts. If you want to, like, remove all mounts and just only give ground mounts, these are the mounts that can go on the ground. And if you want to change the filter to just fly mounts, these are the mounts that can fly. All mounts are added in this list. Then you have the aquatic mounts. These are all the mounts that can swim in the water quickly, so you can filter your mounts a little. And then there's the dragon riding mounts, but this list is going to expand to, like, other things as well. Oh, this thing is going to be dragon riding. That's cool. Yeah, it's going to be called dynamic flying later down the line. More or less. But yeah, Cloud Serpent. It looks good, actually. Do you see the, uh, the new Cloud Serpent thing? They actually, uh, Voyager Wild Ring, unless you meant this thing. Oh, no, you meant the golden one. This thing, I, I was just going to say this thing. They got, like, different horns and much bigger teeth, I want to say. And they have glowy hands. If you meant, like, the uh, time running, right? Time running. can't even spell time running ever, can I? Jesus, where is that thing? Yeah, as Astral... Astral Emperor Serpent looks awesome. Look at that thing. Holy. I wish I could zoom in a little more, but like it's hard to see it. Holy, dude. It looks pretty. I love it. I'm already liking this patch. <laughs> I haven't got to play it yet, but yeah. But now it makes 30 mounts. Yeah, they have it on my head now. Hell yeah. Oh, another thing they also added as part of this update is um, 
heirloom or uh, heritage sets are coming out with this update. I, can I find a... Oh, perfect. Perfect. So the heritage sets are coming out with this update. There's going to be a heritage sets for the Draenei as well as for the, um, the trolls. I want to show you guys what that looks like. If it lets me, hopefully. Um, how do I find the appearances? Is it the sets? No, it's not sets. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, you got the helms. Pandaria hat. Oh. Lost and Bari. Here we go. Lost and Bari. Okay. You guys want to see what the uh, actual... Oh, no. It's buggy, isn't it? Okay. And Bari. And Bari. You guys want to see the heritage sets for Jonai? Hold on. This is, there's two recolors of them. Hold on. Hold on. Um, uh, set one. And then there's another one called Embari. Or no, it's not Embari. What is it called? This is like another version, another recolor. Um, Lost Embari. Uh, what's the other version? Telmat. Wait, T E L. Tel Hamat. Okay, Tel Hamat. Tel Hamat. Here we go. It's a purple version. It's pretty neat. Here we go. And then that's going to be Draenei set 2. Okay. So now we can zoom in a little. And you guys can see this is going to be Draenei Heritage Armor. This is the one version, and there's another version, purple and red. What are your thoughts? Also, let me show you this. I think this needs to be uh, shown as well. What's up, uh, please, uh, Pia Camden? What did I miss? A lot. 1027 is on PTR. Lots of cool stuff. Lev Basically, uh, coming back for 1027 is going to be a must. If you're planning on playing WoW for War Within, 1027 I think is going to be a must. Doesn't matter who. You're going to have to. You want to. You're going to want to play this thing. This thing looks exciting. Holy dude, purple is sweet. Purple is good, but let me show you something else uh, that you will want to see. If I can find the original. Okay. All right. So this is the Dranai concept art that was added at the very, 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 very beginning of wow right this is the basically hey here's the actual set that we kind of want to put on these guys to show them off a little right so i'm gonna bring it up if you look at the male sash setup and then you look at this set it's basically that that's what it's pulling from but it has like the chest armor with a bit more of that purple crystal thing but it's showing Jornai. what's up rossi it's showing Jornai not really at the like peak of like the civilization, Lightforge looked more like the proper Paladin-esque Peaks Jani. These guys have this like nomadic look to them, post Argus falling apart. So that's what the Heritage set is trying to really, I think, show off. It has a couple of things like the purple crystals, the armor bits, but like a lot of the actual attire. I wish I didn't have the shield on or anything for this. Can I remove the shield and weapon? Is that a thing I could do? Can I just drop these things? Can I remove that? How do I? I can't remove that, can I? Whatever. But yeah. <laughs> Got combo vibes? Yeah, they're they're basically trying to really go with a whole like, combo vibe to it. They're not trying to show Draenei at their peak. This is Draenei like as the nomadic people. Post Argus and everything. But yeah, you can see like, I mean, you can see the parts, the sash here. The kind of the, 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 the wrappings around the uh, hooves. And like the shoes, it's closer to like what the male is wearing. I do wish they had like a, a female version as well. I mean, it's basically the same, just less layers. But like, I really just, I wish they did have like two options, right? One that's a little bit more modest, one that's a little less modest. I think a lot of people would enjoy that. But yeah, it's cool. I think it's good looking. It got, yeah, it gets very much like the old, like the broken Draenei vibes to it. But you think uh, having broken wear this would look really, really cool, right? With the masks and stuff. Yeah, it gives me like Zeratul vibes in a way. Speaking of Zeratul vibes, 
We gotta take a look at the troll one, cause troll look pretty cool. I'm gonna need to go and uh, switch over one character. Uh, what item level do you recommend for someone trying to get out to see before the end of the season? This season? Man, for heroic? Oh. Like, for so many and above helps. Uh, but yeah, for so many is like... <laughs> would help if you're pugging specifically if you got a guild you don't really need that high item level it's just mechanics the fight is not really too many checks um what do i do what do i switch over i guess i switch over my priest to a troll that would work right that holy yeah that ugly that's just i do like that preset set though on trolls that looks insane yeah, combo vibes were real sweet. I like red too. Both look good, I think. But the troll one, I think you guys are gonna like a lot more. I think that one you're gonna like a ton more. Uh, let me see if I can find it. What is it called? The name. It is called... When you see the helm, you're gonna be like... Oh, oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Dark Spear. Oh, yeah, that's easy. Dark Spear. Dark Spear. <laughs> Alright, hold on, hold on. I gotta get all the pieces. I gotta get all the pieces, boys. Hold on a second. I gotta get all the pieces. Okay. <laughs> Dark Spear 1. Uh, and then I need to go through it and create a red version of it. So you can see the full... So you can see it in full glory. Yeah. But you can kind of more or less see what it all looks like. Uh, can I save a second one? Yeah, Dark Spear 2. Hell yeah. Alrighty. Oh crap. Uh Can I do a Hold on, can I do What am I trying to do? Oh yeah. Okay, so you can see it a little bit better towards the center of the screen. Yeah, so this is the set. So, is it Vol Hold on. Not Voljin. Is it Zuljin? Oh, Zul'jin does have that face thing. That's for sure. Um, do, 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 do. Okay. I need to do... Can I close this? Yes, I can. Okay, that I can close. But yeah, it has a very much a Zul'jin vibe to it. But also, who is the dad of Vol'jin? Hold on. Wow, Vol'jin's dad. Oh, man. Or was it Vol'jin that was the original Warcraft 3? Oh, it is Vol'jin Warcraft 3. Vol'jin Warcraft 3. It was Vol'jin. I thought it was uh, Vol'jin's dad or something. No, it was his original Vol'jin. Uh, can I see his model? Sort of. Okay, that's impossible to tell. But basically, Vol'jin model was... Basically, he was like a troll hexer kind of model initially. And he had this long sash that goes down his face. Kind of like what Zul'jin has. It's a very much iconic troll thing. So that's what they're kind of building off of. It looks like a drape. Big old snot thing on his face. But like, trust me... This is what you would call cool. I think it's really, really cool. It's a very much like original iconic troll thing. And of course you got like very much iconic like troll armor, troll pieces, right? Dark spear pieces. Senjin? Was it Senjin? Wow, Senjin. Maybe you're right. Oh, it was Senjin. You are correct. I thought for a sec. Okay. Is this Senjin? Was it a good mo picture of Senjin? Oh, let me see if we can find it. Yeah, Senjin, look at him. This is Senjin. Yeah, yeah, this is a, that's what they're trying to go for. You can see the resemblance. This is Senjin. Might as like the hat, but like still. Senjin is dope. Yeah, okay, so I thought I. So when I said Vol'jin's dad, like, I wasn't completely stupid then, huh? I just forgot his name. Vol'jin, Senjin. I didn't remember the name Senjin. Okay. But yeah, so that's what they're pulling that from. So I think it's kind of cool that they're like, where they're getting the ideas from is like from stuff that exists in the game. Whether people are going to like it or not, I think it's going to be a whole nother story, but I like it. I like it. Looks solid, but how the armor looks very well crafted and the other seem troll and rough crafted. I do agree with you on that. Yeah, some of it does look like clean, while the other looks like, like, 
you know, tribal craft, like the like the the gloves, right? I do like the snake, by the way. I think that's pretty cool. But like, yeah, like the gloves maybe look a little clean, but like all the other ornament parts is pretty fine. Chest piece looks good. Like the back, I guess, and the, that looks fine. But yeah, the gloves I feel like could maybe be a little bit differently done. It just needs to, just a couple of finishing touches. That's all it needs. Otherwise, I think it looks pretty good. And like the other one, it has two options. You got this one here, and then you got the, uh, what is it, dark, more brighter colors, while the other's more worn colors, I guess. Yeah. Silver reddish, while the other's more like accented. Oh, I like this one. I do like this one. I think this looks really good, because it has this like troll dark spear colors to it, while this one is a lot more worn version. You know? The set is uh, TBCZA will go hard. Yeah, I agree. What do you think we'll find out? We got Alpha or not? Um, I'm sure the Blizzard will have like, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll have to wait and see, right? We'll have to wait and see. Who knows, right? You know, because you never know. Maybe people have a different battle net client for Alpha. They just can't talk about it. Who knows? Um, there's a two-hand sword as well. Killed by Naga, Big Satch. Oh yeah, there's a two-hand sword, isn't there? Hold on, let me see if we can find it. I don't know if I'll be able to actually see it, but yeah, I can't see it because I'm a troll. So I can only wield so many weapons. Can I see like new stuff? Dagger red. Hold on, PH dagger blue. Can I do PH? Oh, okay. No, that's, I was thinking maybe I'll be able to find like a bunch of like PH, which is usually markings for like work in progress kind of stuff. But not really. <laughs> I thought maybe I'll be able to find some stuff. <laughs> Never mind. I'm being silly. PH red, yeah, I like these things these things are here too. Not really sure what they're for. They just have PH, it means they're like not fully implemented or they are waiting to implement it. Something along those lines. Like there's this shovel, I like that. Branch Viviana, PH staff red, PH staff blue. Legion artifact weapons, nothing would be there though. But yeah, <laughs> too much like an elephant to me, that whole set. I think it looks good, but yeah, I think they just got to do like a little bit of work on it. I maybe make it a little wider so it like drags down a little further, you know, it looks good. I think I, it's just the way that where the, where the idea comes from, right? I think they got a pretty good concept behind it, right? The core. I think that looks good, in my opinion, like. It makes sense why the why it looks the way it looks. I guess the best way to put it, right? But yeah, uh, first is more horde, second is more dark spirit. Yeah, it definitely does have a little bit of like one and the other. Where Jonai it's more like the purple and the red. Um, I think that we're trying to go for like muted colors, and then royal colors. But yeah, I do agree with you. The other one is good. No, yours is is sweet. The one you're looking at. Oh, the set you mean? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have no idea. Uh, what else is going to be in this thing? So there's a new cloak and there's a bunch of toys added for the cloak as well. Murloc backpack and onesie dynamite? Yo, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Murloc backpack? <laughs> okay, I like the green one. <laughs> <laughs> I do this for when I kill Garrosh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> look at that, you even got buff labs, bro. Look at that, oh my god. You can get the eeks out with that one, what the hell? Holy, that's so good, I actually like it. What's your favorite class uh, going to be season 4? The Murloc class, this is what I'm going to be playing. I don't know, uh, Rogue. Yeah, Rogue. It's always Rogue. Answer, always Rogue. I mean, I'm a Rogue main. Like, come on. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Um, question, what else is there in this build? Oh, there's a bunch of new stuff, actually. Hold on, is this bound added? More models? Hold on, can I find more mo mount models? If I tap in PH. I might. Hold on. I don't see... new stuff yeah i don't see anything that's ph for mounts um 
But there are new pets and mount models. See if we can show it. Yeah, look at these things. There's wolves with night elf like armor. Then you got this fish thing, the angler looking fish. That looks sick. Has an Azathian look to it. There's cats with horde armor. There's uh surfboards, goblin surfboards. There's this thing. I mean, it looks absolutely adorable. Holy, it looks like a goober. There is a uh, Naga pets. Lots of pets. Yak. Apparently an updated model of Valeria and Stormin, maybe. So, who knows? Or maybe they're updating all the models for them later down the line. Apparently, Colterian's got a couple of recolors as well. And Zalatath got a new model, dude. Yeah, Zalatath model is actually insane. Oh, yeah. Oh, you guys can even see it. Zalachath. I mean, it looks awesome. Uh, the cloak looks funky because it looks like it kind of just uh, sticks out. It's like a, it's got like a floaty thing to it, right? The cloak is like basically a cosmic looking cloak on the inside and it like flaps and stuff. It looks good. Zalachath looks really, really cool. Same animations as Blood Oath, but like... I definitely a lot more detail than a normal Blood Oath. Uh, do, 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 so the new mode that's being tested, the Pandemonium thing, or Remix or whatever it's called, that is going to be available Friday, by the way. Like, it's even scheduled. Pandari Remix is available for a very, very, very limited time event. But yeah, we're playing the Mr. Pandari expansions. So There's going to be some limited testing for it. Kael'thas wipe. She's so hot. Dude, hell, I, I mean, it looks good, right? Zalatath look good. They, 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 gave, they gave our girl an upgrade. You know what I mean? Hopefully, they'll give her like, a fantastic villain story. Please give Zalatath a fantastic story. That's all I care about. Character looks good. Can we just give her like a badass story? So we're just like, hell yeah, that is my villain. That is the villain that I want in my video games. You know what I mean? Also, don't make it like a throwaway villain. Give it like a, a reason why they're a villain. Make it like compelling. Please, Blizz. Please. Please, please, please. Lowe's Blade of Blessing. Is that the item? Yeah, that's another item too. That's the uh, Troll Heritage set. Part of the Troll Heritage set. It looks good. It's a blade with like this metal bits dude there's that thing would snap that thing would snap if you were to try to hit stuff like how does it go from like thick blade into a thin thing that one really cut it <laughs> i don't really cut it super well <laughs> man but it looks good it looks awesome uh kel thought yeah kel thought vibes for sure oh uh, she's missing the old god was consumed by the rest of the ultimate plan to destroy the titans what they did to her i mean she is basically of like the whole void right Pretty sure. Uh, who knows, man? Who knows? Missing old god that was consumed by the rest of the... Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe. I did see her that there's apparently like a fifth one. I don't know if she will actually be the one, but she's... Oh, maybe she will be. Who knows, right? Who knows? I just think Xalatath was always cool in terms of the cryptic stuff, which she was an Aifu for Shadow Priest. She was the artifact weapon for them for a good bit. And then she kind of had like a cryptic return and cryptic getaway in BFA. Which I thought was pretty cool too, because it's not like Zalatath really necessarily is like evil to begin with, right? She's more like making a deal with Nazoth to get back into Nyalotha, but we never actually see her there. Legion Remix, want to get my knife wife back? Dude, if they do remixes for expansions instead of like classic, that would be something. I don't, I hope they don't do that though. I hope they still do classic versions of expansions, but remixes are cool, you know? An opportunity to go and relive. The expansion, but in a different way. I don't think it's uh, bad at all. There's a lot of content. What it do for word, dude? I get on stream and I yell my head off and I act like an idiot and give me money for it. Welcome to wel welcome to my TED talk. That's basically what I do. Um, Big Pit Lord, yeah, it looks good. <laughs> Glyph, please, yeah, imagine. Fair rogue power. That was your favorite class, yeah. Rogues are gonna be really, really good. We get into our season four or season three tier set yet again. Like that's really, really strong. In content where rogues are doing really well, like the original DF dungeons are a pretty good spot for rogues. We'll see how we do. We generally are a class that scales well with endgame gear. And I think after the rework we've gotten, we should scale even better, but like we can only get so much more versa. We can only get so much more mastery. So I feel like we might be running into like a bit of a wall. Maybe assassination is gonna be shining there though. How's it going? What's up, Mike? I do my man. Hope you have a good my guy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, hold on. I really gotta take a look at this here, though. Uh, apparently, Hunter's gotta change. Hold on. I actually got a full list of all the things that are new. We can take a look at it right now. Hold on, Hunter's. 
Dal Prime. Hunters, apparently they changed up the UI for when you pick up your pets from um, uh, Sable, so whatever. So that's gonna be something I gotta take a look at. Beastmaster in particular apparently got a different window. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit different for them compared to everybody else. Are these Stable Masters, pet trainers? Stable Master. Apparently this is different. Uh, oh yeah, look at that. Holy! <laughs> what are they my even pet names here? <laughs> I saw icy orgy and I was like, uh oh, hold on. <laughs> Is one of them gonna be spicy? No, 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 that's chilling. Oh, my pets. I don't know if they show. Oh, they are showing up. Look at them. Family boar. He got X. What a dumb name. I saw Icy Orgy. It's a joke with me at Cred. I was like, uh oh, hold on. <laughs> I had to take a look at him in a second. Like, hold on a second. I don't ever bust these pets out. SpongeBob. Yeah, yeah. Spirit Beast. Hidden Tauren. Yeah, yeah. And there's Bo. Gruffhorn. Sag. Clefhoof. Pinky. These are the pets that I have now, huh? Hold on a second, you can put the stable? Okay, this is a lot going on here. This is cool though, hold on. So this is cutting pets, you have ferocity pets, and they are like more differently, tenacity. And another thing you can do is search. You can look at all my exotic pets. I got Dallasaur, I got Spirit Beast if I wanna. You can sort by family, you can sort by A to Z, specialization. You can type in like bite, and it should show you all the characters that have bite. What about claw? Claw. Yes, and it changes them. You want specific abilities? You can get them. So if you want like endurance, right? Endurance. All your pets are here, but I guess you... What is it? Could always get it there. Is it Dispel? Hold on. Dispel? No. Uh, Nether. So you gotta type it by name. I thought maybe you could do D in Rage. In Rage. No, you have to type it by actual name. So you want a pet that has like a way to remove magic effects. Yeah, you'll have to like actually find them specifically. But yeah, Nature's Grace, Soothe and Breeze surrounds the stagger moment. Oh, it's a dispel. Okay, can I do dispel? Dispel, remove. No, that doesn't work. And you can see how many pets you got, family stag, what their diet is. You could do release and stuff. And this is my active pet, right? Make active? No, hold on a second. Oh, what the hell? Make active. Are active with the ones that are my, like, inventory? Hold on, can I find them? Yeah, okay, so if I add him in my active... I guess you could drag him, right? Yeah, so if I want to remove Sag, you can get him out of here. Or if I want to add Sag... Make active. Does that mean it's my active pet now? Yeah. I guess it switches my pets out, right? Another thing is Beastmaster Hunter is supposed to be able to do. Oh, you put one here. Okay, so you know how you have a Beastmastery Animal Companion, right? Hold on, I'm gonna record this part separately. Animal Companion, right? You get to call one of the pets from your stables to be your, like, side pet. So right now I have Clefhoof, right? My main one's bow, side is Clefhoof. But if I go here and let's say I replace it with Spongebob. Now whenever I have Call Beast, it should switch him out. Right? Give it a second. He disappears. And then Spongebob should appear. Yeah! You can switch him out much easier. Look at that. You could just watch your side pet by putting him here. That's so cool. Hell yeah. Look at that. So if I want Dallasaur, I just swap him, swap him out. And it's going to take a second for Spongebob to dematerialize and then Dallasaur is gonna step in look at this oh this is so cool it's much easier to like customize how you want to run as a hunter dude big hunter update Sally look at this this is so cool that is awesome dude whoever worked on this a plus plus job this is awesome this is insane actually incredible job well done and you could just gotta put him back in a stable if you want to see if you want to clear it out you can Put him in a stable. Put this guy in a stable. Make active. 
Oh, you can actually add him as like one of your pets. Okay, so you can have him as a side pet or like an actual part of your like your roster. Cool. Hell yeah. This is awesome. All right, another thing is scenarios. Apparently, you can invite people to scenarios, but I don't know if I can test that. You got to be in a scenario to be able to like invite somebody. Uh, auction house. Hold on, that's another one. It's a small one, but auction house. We took a look at the interface changes. That was pretty neat. Character sets, the new mode. Yeah, main BM. Definitely happy with that. Oh, much much better, isn't it? Hold on, auction house right here. So apparently, there's now a new setting for auction house where you can select it so you can only see expansion goods filter current expansion only yeah so if you want to change it then you can see items from current expansion you could do that so you could remove it and see all items oh so it looks like it actually based on gives you all items current expansion only it removes it so that's a little buggy but yeah it's supposed to share like expansion only expansion specific items on here but if you, what is it? I guess this is a check off. So it's not working properly, right? Oh, equipment, you can see upgrades. Or not, expansion only. They're gonna have both of them. Yeah, so it's not working properly, but it's supposed to share with like expansion only items. Not working super well right now. But that's okay. That's okay. So shout out. Uh, nice that I have to just use tables anymore. Definitely love that. Yeah, that, the tables getting a bit of rework is probably a good idea, honestly. Probably a good idea. Um, you can see the skills as well. Yeah, you can see all of those skills and you can search them apparently all the pets buy skills as well. All right, what else is there? Uh, dragon riding races. Apparently you can toggle on the map to see dragon races or not. I want to try it. Hold on. We're going to hop on another character and just go flying around. I want to see if this works or not. But apparently you should be able to toggle races on and off on your map so you can see them a little easier. I'm not sure exactly where. I wonder if they're going to make pet abilities something important. Search skull. Uh, maybe. Uh, we'll, we'll see. I mean, like claw, bite, all those things do basically the same thing. I think it's like, oh, I want a mortal strike with a pet, right? Okay, I can search it pretty easily. Or I want a pet with a self-dispel because of a mechanic. Okay, I can get that pretty easily. Or a pet with a dodge ability or something. Oh, what the hell? You can see dragon races on here if you want to. Look at that. You can actually see them on the map. Can I remove them? Is that a thing I can remove? Oh, yeah. You can remove races or add them. That's cool. So you can add like a little bit more... Neat. So you can remove them if you want to. Or if you want to find all of them, you can always pull it up. Cool. How good is the new mob mode for leveling all? So that's not available for testing until Friday. I wish I could tell you. We just literally don't have it available for testing right now. Otherwise, I'd tell you exactly how good it's going to be. I imagine it's going to be quick because it's like accelerated. So I'll have a better idea, I think, by Friday evening, maybe. Depending when they release this thing, I'll have a video out talking about the mode, giving you more details. But it's probably going to be... I mean, it's 10 to 7. It's a final patch before the end of the expansion. Normally, the very, very final patch before a next seasonal update or before an expansion is fantastic for leveling. Or the pre-patch is usually fantastic for leveling. But, I mean, this mode looks like they're trying to give you that leveling ability early to get you a level 70 character prepped and ready to go before War Within. Because those characters will be able to go into War Within. Which is kind of neat. Looking good? Hell yeah, man. It was looking good. So far, so good. I mean, they just re uh, just came out to PTR. But yeah, Friday, I'll have a better idea. Friday, I think we'll still do duels. I'm not going to change that up at all. Uh, I am going to probably make a video on the actual, like, event, though. Um, whenever it's available. Whenever it becomes playable. Oh, literally twins. Literally two twins. I guess there's twins, right? So two of them spotted out here. <laughs> which one of the ride the drake did? Which one of them is the main? Which one is the passenger princess? We'll see Friday, we'll see Friday, yeah. I want to try to see if I can stream this on Friday, if it's going to be out early. And still do my duels. I might try to do both if I can. But if anything, there's definitely going to be a video on the entire thing, boys. At the very least. Definitely going to be a video on the entire thing. Going over it, talking about it. 
Oh, this mound used to be a little all kinds of bugged. But I guess they fixed it. Okay. That used to be a super, super buggy on a uh, alpha beta. What's up, Dad? What's up, Zachary? How you doing, my guy? In a scenario, you can post it anywhere. In a scenario, and I can't post anywhere? Yeah, so apparently for scenarios, it says... Uh, you can use uh, scenarios that use groups can now be listed in LG if you're looking for more people to join and help you and stuff. Uh, I wonder if I... Are you talking about Pandaria scenario? I wonder if it's like you got to be in a Pandaria scenario to post for that or what. Because you can just kind of go to Pandaria to try it out, right? Wait, I can just port. I'm a mage. There we go. I'm in one right now. Okay, so I'm thinking if my either it's a scenario as in like a questing scenario, like a quest you're doing, or like an intro to an expansion scenario. I didn't know if it would meant like Pandari scenario or whatnot. You know? Or maybe that'll be a thing for the new mode, right? So maybe you'll be able to do LG in the new mode. Not for this mode. This guy's the scenario guy, right? Pretty sure. No, it's her. No, it's is it her? Not him. One of the pandas here do scenarios. I forget which one. Storyteller. Raid finder. No. I think I need to switch over to another version of MOP, don't I? Oh no, I'm not. Uh or do I need to switch? Hold on. Veil was like before the yeah, before the yeah, that's what I need to do. I need to put the veil back. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this is where the pandas are. So now you can do like a Lord Walker assistant, scenario storyteller, queue up for a scenario. Um Uh Tell of Blood in the Snow. Sure. Blood in the Snow. I don't remember what that one is. But I'll queue up. I'm in. Zandalari thing. Cool. Oh yeah, this one. And you should be able to like list somehow for a scenario. I am not sure if I can. Teleport out of a dungeon. It may not be this scenario that you list for. Oh, Dark Mountain use. I haven't done this thing in a while. Oh yeah, this scenario. Yeah, I forgot about that. Look at that. Pop. Neat. <laughs> they got a rescue dwarves. <laughs> I forgot about this. That's kind of cool. A shimmer basket. Oh, that's funny. Hold on, can I just kill a bunch of them here? Okay. Is this keeping them alive? Uh, let me blast it. They're not dying. Is there a reason why they're not dying? Huh. Yeah, none of them are dying. Okay, weird. Maybe not supposed to fight them. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I don't think you do this scenario. What I want to try is maybe another scenario that's like a quest scenario. Hmm, you're phased. I mean, when you're phased. In LFG, you mean, or you mean in your scenario? Legion starter. That's what I was trying to do, is Legion starter. Yeah. I was trying to see if I could do maybe a Legion starter quest. This is the for the minute, but the only thing in the MP scenario coming back for another reason. No, they are, uh, scenarios are for Pandemonium. Uh, they are for Pandemonium, because for Pandemonium, you're going to be able to do dungeons, scenarios, raids, questing, treasures, rares for Pandaria. It's part of that Pandaria content. So, scenarios are going to be back for that specifically. Do I have a character that's like kind of fresh? Is this character, I want to try to see if this character maybe 
hasn't done Legion intro. I don't want to see if I can queue for Legion intro. But yeah, don't kill bulky trolls. Yeah, yeah, probably should be doing that. Might be. <laughs> uh, let me see what we can do with this. I'm gonna switch over to select the timeline Legion. Cool. So I'm gonna go. I don't have flying on this guy, do I? We got flying. Wait, is that a new mount or is that? No, not a new mount. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try doing the Legion starter and see if we can list it. Remember logging in the early quest for like scenario where you don't good times? I wonder if that'll be back. I imagine that'll be back. This is basically gonna be Pandaria all over again, just like a fast way to experience Pandaria. But yeah, this is cool. This is very, very interesting. I cannot wait to test it out Friday, man. That's gonna be fun. Do, 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 do. So let's run over there very quickly. Pandaria Endgame was awesome, simple but effective. Yeah, you're going to be able to go back to basically do Pandaria Endgame stuff. Like raids will be a 10-man rating, so you'll be able to do 10-man heroic raids. So I imagine it's going to be still group gameplay and stuff like that. I wonder if it'll be soloable, like any of the raids. I mean, probably, but it looks like you do want to do group content and group activities. But we'll find, we'll see. Yeah, we'll find out. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Thomas Isle coming back. Yeah, Thomas Isle is coming back. That is one of those ones you'll be able to quest in. Thomas Isle, Isle of the Thunder King, Crassering Wilds, like with the Horde and Alliance get to establish the outpost. Um, every basic major story of Mr. Pandario Tomb, you'll be able to go through that, like the Bulgin Revolution, everything. You'll be able to go through all of that. Wait, did I already do the Legion intro in this character? Crap, okay, so let's do this. Let's uh, make a brand new character, right? It doesn't really matter what we do. Uh, Hunter, a random name, and we're gonna go try doing the Legion scenario thing. Hi, what's the MOP about? Hey, I'm on. How you doing, man? Um, MOP is going to be kind of like a new questing experience. Think of like a Plunderstorm, but like a PvE mode. Is it this one that was like kind of... This one. That'll work. Yeah, that'll do. I don't need a lot of abilities. I'll just switch spec or something or select a spec. Oh god, pet bar? Why is that way up there? Pet bar is running away from me. <laughs> what is happening? Oh god, big bar. Okay, we'll do it like this. It's a little, it's a little jank looking, but it'll, 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 it'll do it. It'll, it'll cut it. I'll be fine. I'm gonna go survival. I'm gonna be man mode on this. Give me a melee, melee weapon? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we'll work towards one, I guess. Well, actually, let's go be um. <laughs> if they're not gonna give me a weapon, <laughs> I'm just gonna go be um just to make it a little easier on myself, man. It's so really. I don't really care. I don't really care. Uh, we'll keep that. That's fine. Uh, Kill shot. Yeah, that'll be fine. Sure, that'll work. Uh, I gotta go select Legion. But Mr. Pandaria thing, it's gonna be Mr. Pandaria. It's called Remix. Wild Remix MLP. Basically, you get to. I have a video out for it from this uh, afternoon, actually. So if you wanna check it out, that may give you a bit of a better detailed idea. But basically, you get to replay through Pandaria through the entire content of that expansion leveling, questing, scenarios, raids dungeons and you get to play it in a very different way kind of like how you got abilities and experimental stuff in plunderstorm yeah you'll be able to do some wacky class ability things in this one as well the gear the gems you collect you'll be able to get this primordial meta gems and other types of gems that enhance your character and give you new abilities and enhance a lot of your class abilities and such um there's also a ton of new rewards coming out for it it's a bunch of cosmetics you can get also the character you level through this is going to be faster leveling, but also once they're hit level 70 and the event is gone, you'll be able to take that very same character into War Within. It also, it's available for everybody, classic players, retail players, as long as you have a WAP subscription, like Pull Room, you can just kind of hop on, switch to it, play it, you'll be able to do that as well. You'll be able to make a separate character, but 
that character will then come back to live realms and you can actually just keep playing that same character after they're done through this like i think of like season of discovery but instead of like wow that isn't wow classic so that's how i would kind of approach it it's kind of like sod in a way if that makes any sense at all how's it looking looking pretty i mean we haven't got to check out the new mode at all yet it's going to be available friday but yeah for now it is just going to be available friday what the hell is this telling me to do Enter Wizard Sanctum, travel to Broken Isles. Is it skipping me to Legion? It's not letting me do that Legion intro anymore. The Legion scenario. Weird. Hold on. Yeah, it's telling me go to the portal. Is this real? It's not even telling me to do the intro for Legion. It's having me skip it. That's weird. It's okay, so I can't do that scenario. That is weird. Okay, I, I had no idea. Maybe it'll still give me a chance to do this scenario. I'm gonna try it. Can we just use a main body? Hell, wait, what? Can uh, can't we just use a, a main uh, use or main bloody hell? Uh no, it's like you gotta make a new character. It's so that classic players and retail players all can join in, uh, and you don't have to like imagine if they were like, hey, here's a game mode, but you have to have had a gear max level character to participate. Like, a lot of people will be upset about that, right? You just gotta wanna jump in and enjoy yourself. So, no, you, you can just make a... Yeah, for this mode, like like in Plunder or Plunder Storm, you get to make a new character, level them, and then if you wanna keep playing that character after the event is gone, you can. Legion places even up. Like, the whole, like, event... Yeah, I, I didn't see it there at the docks. A little sad about it. I guess maybe they removed it. Because a lot of the times it has you do the scenario, but then I'm probably like, you know what, let's give him a skip. That's what I was trying to do, is try to see if I could do that event. Wait, another scenario that is available is like, isn't that a WAD scenario? Or is that like a questing zone? WAD intro is either a scenario or a questing zone. I don't remember. I think it just might be a questing zone. Huh? Portal from Wizard Sanctum to the Caverns of Time. For Legion? Hold on. This is weird. It's taking me to a dock in um in Featherburn, Feralus. Makes you want to go and explore and see what's in Feralus. What is it? guy that I had to your hold I'm gonna go there and find out why it's taking me there I want to see if there's now a boat that goes from Feralus to Legion that is weird if that is the case that is weird BFA with the scenario start with the sewers oh yeah I guess you're right yeah I should probably do BFA too I kind of I'm I'm interested in this like Feralus thing so I want to do that really quickly but yeah after this I'll do the BFA and the, the intro and the sewers and the jail cell yeah I think it'll be worth War supply crate? <laughs> Is anybody there for war supply crate? Someone could take it, I guess. <laughs> Shadowlands to a lull. Oh yeah, Shadowlands scenario. Never again. Never again. Okay, tell me there's like a... I guess I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go to the, uh, the portal over here. I wanna see why it's taken that character to Feralus. Out of all the places, the docks in Feralus. How are the docks in Feralus gonna get me to Legion? I am interested. I, am, I, am I the only one? Is this gonna be all for naught? Okay, we gotta fly all the way. Wait, you know what? I could've went to all them. Okay, well, whatever. I could've, I could've ported to all them. That would've been a little quicker. A little closer. Hell, I could've went here. Or here. Okay, there's a couple of portals that I could have taken to get here a little quicker. I didn't think. Brain no good. We're just flying. Corthy one. I mean, Ma. No, 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 dude. Not Ma. Not Ma. You see these, like, little bug parts? That's actually people's hands reaching out from the Ma, dude. 
like Corthia Contra was so dry. Does those are not like like antennas or insect parts. Those are just people's bony fingers with how dry that content was, man. They're just reaching out, calling for help. They got like burying life of them. They got a little wiggle. That's all they can do. That's all they can muster. Tune into what's going on with 10 to 7. A lot, Jonathan. There's just too much. Too much. Oh, good. Look at that sword. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of... So, 10 to 7 is going to be a patch where pandemonium is a thing. So, it's going to be basically an ability for you to re-level and request and re-enjoy all of the Pandaria features and content. Everything from leveling, questing, treasures, dungeons, raids, scenarios. And you get a lot of cosmetics and different ways to play your character. Well, still given a sim similar like gameplay modes that you know from WoW, dungeons, scenarios, raids, even heroic versions of raids. But the way you play your class is going to be very different. I have a video out on the channel already. So if you check out some of the newer stuff we'll put up, it should be there. Okay, at least we made it to Feralus. We're almost there. It was a Death's Fingers. Uh, maybe. I was saying it was player's fingers reaching out from Corthia and they're just dry. They need some Vaseline or something, but okay, that could work too. Mode sword, true, true. Most the worst thing I've been a while ever. Corthia, I think, was pretty much worse. Like, I would actually take them all over Corthia if I had to. Look at these trees, man. Oh, lordy. Man was not made to climb that high up. Okay, so there's the docks. It says the docks is where I needed to go in order to go to Legion. Where's the, where's the actual dock? Where's the actual boat? What does that go to? Also, there's a lot of Night of stuff here. Has this always been here? Feather Moon? Is this the dock? Does the ship actually come by here, guys? Question. Is this it? No? Why did it have me go here then? That's where the original dock used to be. Why did it have me go here? Does a boat come by here? Boat takes you to the Forgotten Coast. Where's the boat? Do I gotta wait for it? Is there a dock person somewhere out here? Is there an inn here too? There's an inn. This is an inn? I mean, it's kind of quaint looking. I guess that is an inn. If it's on an island. Okay, let me hop over real quick and I'll show you what I'm t look looking at earlier. So, I was trying to do a Legion scenario for this character, but instead it had me go take a portal in... Um, what I was trying to do is I was trying to see if you can do LFG for scenarios because it looks like they added a new mode to do LFG scenarios in PTR. So we tried scenario for Pandaria, it didn't work. So I'm trying to see if I can join the scenario that you do for a quest and I was trying to do the Legion intro quest. Following the quest objective, it has me onward adventure to Broken Isles. Take the portal from Feathermoon Stronghold to Bellamath. There's a portal. Okay, we're looking for a portal then. Element new tree. It is a new tree, yeah. It is a new tree. I'm just wondering why it's sending this character to Bellameth. You know? I just don't know. Because it's kind of a far run. Uh, why is there TP from Fertilist to Bellameth? That's what I want to know. Oh, there is a portal. 
that's what it's pointing me to. It's not a boat. It's Bellameth. Yeah, that's a portal to Bellameth. Bellameth Mage. Yeah. yeah he's going to take it to Bellameth. The new tree. Why is it sending a Void Elf across the map to Bellameth to go to Legion? Is there a way for me to go to Legion from here? Stormwind. Mount Hygel. Valshara. That's why it has me go here. Darkshore. It has me go to Valshara from here. It takes you to Valshara. I'm in Valshara. Is there a portal out of here back to Bellameth? There is. Color me surprised. A bit weird. Definitely. I mean, it's cool that now there's a little more portals, but like the weirdest portals in the weirdest spots. Hold on. I'm going to try this here. I'm going to try going back to Stormwind because it used to be a portal back to Azuna. And that was the closest way you could get to Legion. But like there used to also be a way to get to Legion Dalaran. Can you not get to Dalaran anymore? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because this has you just... So it tells me to go to Valshara through Bellameth on a level 10 character now. Bellameth and game Dragonflight area. Wait, hold on. If I'm making United, do I start in Bellameth now? Is that what they're trying to say? Hold on. Hold on a second. This should be like one of these here. Yeah, look, it has Azuna right here. I can't even click it though. What? I can't even. It takes you to Azuna. I can't even go to Azuna when I'm trying to go to Legion. You're telling me I have to track all the way here. All the way down here. And then run all the way to Verilus. Just to go to Broken Isles. Are you kidding me? What is the portal here? They broke something. Hold on. Um, starting. And you character and choosing legion time walking takes you to meth as a level 10 character <laughs> it's a long run just to get to <laughs> broken isles <laughs> it's a long run hold on uh when you make a new night elf like they don't start in bellamed do they Shadow Glen, Exhaustion. No, you don't even start in Bellameth. Ha. Huh. Yeah. Okay. So if you want to make a level level the character, maybe because you're Ali. Maybe. I guess if I try to make it a horde and go to Legion, right? That'll do it. Maybe. It's weird though. Like Alliance players, mean, it means that Alliance players have to go to Guantanamo Bay just to get to like the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> like what it's so far okay let me go talk to uh what's her face chromie see if i can set legion i just want to see if scenario thing works from this portal from request that's so weird man man that's wild maybe because yeah it's just weird for if alliance players have to now do this whole like world tour just to get to legion questing area imagine if that was just like a thing like yeah we're just gonna make it run through Bellameth when there's a portal to azuna in the mage tower seven port to mage tower right make him go to the mage make him go to the mage tower must be something with the game scripting right probably like the logic of like okay you got to get here but the way it has to go through it it's not doing it correctly maybe they thought they were gonna get slick they're gonna get clean with it but no <laughs> Was a Roman G mod? I have no idea. Oh, it's for the training post. Yeah, on the horde site. Yeah, there's a Roman G mode. Take us by, hangs out at the training post, walks away. Oh, is there a portal to Bellameth in Stormwind as well? In Mage Tower? I didn't even look. I just thought about it. I just thought about it. Okay, what about this character? If I go Legion, am I gonna have to go into Bellameth too? Travel to Broken Isles. How do I do that? Um.
It just says travel to Broken Isles. It doesn't tell me where to go. It just tells me your end destination. Go here. So let me try... Uh, doing the intro. Also, I'm dead. You got sapped? What the? Why are you getting sapped? What the hell? Can you attack him too? What is happening? Because I have devs and devs are random making a quest on the other side of the universe. I mean, it would just make no sense, but yeah. Like this guy. This guy is normally here, right? And he's like, oh, I can't even talk to him too. Okay, so normally you talk to that guy. Holgar, Storm, what? Storm Max, Holgar, Storm Max. Normally he sends you to either skip it right into Dalaran if you've done the intro, or it sends you into the intro. I want to see if the portal to Asuna works here. If it works. No, I can't access it. Yeah, yeah, it is all kinds of bugged. How do I? Tr it just says go to Broken Isles. How do I do that? You portal. You can't run there. You can't go there normally. Yeah. So if you guys are gonna do any leveling, um, Broken Isles, do it now. You won't be able to do it later. Letting you know. <laughs> just letting you know. Oh yeah, I guess you can't do Legion questing on new characters on PTR. Really weird change, but I, I'm sure it's not like their purpose. But yeah. Made the crew at the end first. For BFA, you mean? Oh, there's a guy walking around killing stuff here. I guess there's like a rogue or something running around, maybe. Or something along those lines. I guess if I want to do another scenario, I guess I could do BFA. Or is it bugged? Yeah, let me try to do the BFA scenario. Because that is another scenario I can maybe queue up for pretty quickly. Star Wars game down. Uh, yeah. It's, it's, I guess it's okay. I need what BFA timeline? Yeah, there we go. BFA. Down teleport stone. So I can do that, right? I can do that. That is literally what is given to me. I'm just wondering how a new player would go about doing that because I can hearthstone easily. I'm thinking from a perspective of what the hell would a new player do in this situation? You know what I mean? That's the only reason why I'm not using a hearthstone. Just yeah. Plus, I also was just trying to do the scenario anyway. So I'm gonna try to see if I can do the BFA one. Oh my god. Isn't that thing you have with the Sylvanas becoming ma uh, the Wad Chief? Yeah, she's a she's a water spit, all right. For Legion, uh, no, that's a Demon Hunter thing only. Well, I guess other classes could do it back in the intro of Legion. You don't actually have to witness her. This is another one you can do. Talk to them, have um, Nathanos blab on a bit, yapping. He got that degree in yapology. Absolutely yapping. Where is he? You talk to him, you don't do the skips. So you can do the intro. You pick up the poison. And then you go up above. Normally you just talk to him and do the skip. How do I get up there? Do I gotta talk? Oh, yeah, there's eagles. That's how you do it. Yeah, so if you don't have. Oh, wait, that's the guy that's running around killing stuff. Okay. <laughs> not cool, man. Not cool. <laughs> killing all the NPCs. Not cool. Yeah, might be a story with something you have to do debate before to skip a guy. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, we just have to go up here and then you fly on the eagle and then it puts you in scenario or it just sends you insta. Okay, now I'm in a scenario. That's what I'm trying to find out. I'm in a scenario. Look at that. Stage one. How do I make a group for scenario? I can't at level 10. Okay, let me see if I can find a pose that says you can make a group for scenario, whatever it is. Do, 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 do. Okay. Quest, user interface, training post. A group you can create or find a group participating in a scenario by clicking group finder icon on the scenario objective. There's now a group finder icon? 
So there's supposed to be a group finder icon on the scenario objective. So I guess like here, right? Or is a scenario like um, open world scenario? What are the open world scenarios, chat? Is that something I can check out? Is there a thing? Open world scenarios? Like... Wait, are they talking about, uh, like the hunts? Are hunts, do those count? Maybe the hunts count. Yeah, like one world quest? Yeah, maybe. Hold on. That might be the play. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We got a couple of these we can take a look at. Do, 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 do. Do 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 do. I guess I'll just log out here by the sewers. But oh, they're just waiting for me eternally. Eventually, morning is gonna come and they're just gonna get captured. Rest in peace. Uh, I guess I'll do Dal Prime. Yeah, let me go to like uh, the hunts or the um. What is it? Shouldn't it also be. Uh, I'm pretty sure it should be uh. The Archivist thing should be coming up in a couple of minutes, right? Like if you do World Boss, yeah, kind of like that. Yeah, like if you're doing World Boss, it lets you like queue up for a group or whatever. It might be one of those. Because it all depends on like, what the hell does Blizzard mean by scenario? Because that you might bring one a couple of places, right? Scenario, either like a quest thing or like an intro thing. Maybe that's what they meant. Which would be nice to have like a one set definition for what a scenario is, but like technically I guess that is a scenario. You know? Oh, also didn't they add like a bunch of new stuff in training posts too? Hold on. Can I find it? It's like swimwear. They added like uh, literally bikinis as a mog. Uh, summer? Is that what it was called? Hold on. If I look at the chest piece, I'm gonna be able to find it. <laughs> No, there's only scuba, but there's supposed to be like swimwear coming out in the training post. It's been data mined, but I don't think it's actually in the game files yet. Yeah, it doesn't look like it, but you could do some scuba gear if you wanted to. It clips through each other pretty badly. Do, 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 do. Yeah, this should be coming up in like two minutes. Yeah, we're going to go archivist, see if that works. If it's going to be the same for scenarios. Uh, I know it's probably going to work for like scenarios in Mr. Pandaria. I imagine, but those you queue for, so who knows, right? Are we going to go to Archivist, see you when it starts, and see if it gives me like a window to make a group for it. If it does, that's pretty cool. Because that'd be kind of nice, right? Let's say you're just doing Grand Hunts, you're like, I don't want to do it on my own. Maybe somebody else out there doing it also. Let me list their group. Somebody joins in and it's like, oh, cool. Now we can do it together. We, You know what I mean? Because like more people in trades rest, like if everybody's actively doing stuff, it is more efficient. Like, if it's just you, it's just better just for you to be on your own doing a thing. It should show up, right? On the right-hand side. When the event starts. I'll just wait for a second. Maybe add some errors world quest in that bout. Which you can queue for? Maybe. Questing, would that count? Under the pressure. Who knows? I lost my temper. Do -do -do. I said something foolish. Did I go and ruin this when it started? Hmm. Feel so real. Maybe you're right. Maybe it'll be part of quests. I guess I'll find out in just a minute once it launches. I will see. Alright, what else is there? I know I missed some stuff. Oh, yeah, they're adding like some new things for culture and still like hair color options. That's pretty neat. Tamara, Meadow Achievement, 
earn a cosmetic rewards with hats. Do, 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 do. Oh, Chainstorm Styles Kag? You can get a Kag? What the? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Can I see the backpacks and stuff? Do, 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 Oh, hold on. They got the uh, these things too. <laughs> Race and flag too. Check her pennant. Icy Drake thing. Yeah, I thought it would be like here, right? You'd be able to find a group in the scenario because this looks like a scenario, right? Yeah, I can't really tell. Yeah, I mean, this looks like a scenario because it gives me like a scenario window. But I'm not sure. Maybe it just doesn't work in PTR yet. It's like what they want to do, but they just haven't been able to implement it yet. Which seems like it. Hmm. Yeah, who knows, man? Yeah, I can't really link this either. Hmm. All right, have no idea then. There'd be LG icon to the right window. Yeah, like that would make sense, right? You're doing traders dig, and you just want to get more people together. That would make sense, but I have no idea. We tried like Mr. Pandaria scenarios, like here, right? It would be like, oh, find a group to do the hunt or whatever. I have no idea. Maybe it's somewhere there, but I'm just missing it. Who knows, right? Who knows, man? Who knows? All right, what else is there new? If anything, uh, I think above scrolls returning for the Padari thing. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Wait, that's kind of neat. Hold on. <laughs> Let me show you this, boys. Let me show you. So they added a bunch of scrolls for this event, the uh, Pandaria thing. Timeless chaos for an hour, you damage brands that target to make them take more damage. So like there are scrolls. So like let's say if you're missing a demon hunter for your party, you can get a scroll so you can have all the raid buffs. That's kind of cool. I wonder that something like that would come out to live realms ever. Attack bar increased by four. Man. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Hope you're having a good one too. I love Teddy Boo. Hope you're having a wonderful one. Drums. Same as the live one. Damage brands are target increasing magic damage. <laughs> 40 for 4 sec 4%. Four I wonder if they would add these ever. I don't know are you damage weak as the target increasing physical damage taken. That's kinda cool. Timeless wind versatility by 2%. The druid buff. Dispel scroll? Wait, so even if you don't have a dispel, you could just have a somebody dispelling. That's kinda neat. Hold on a second. Rez scroll? Okay, so they're literally adding scroll for summoning? Imagine if that was in live, man. Imagine if that stuff was out in live, dude. Just like, oh, we're missing a warlock tonight. Ah, we just grabbed a scroll, no worries. <laughs> you wouldn't have the gateway, but like the summoning is gonna be super, super nice. That's really, really good. I like that. I wonder if that would function. I think it still would want gate and stuff, right? Is it the Hearthstone thing? It is, isn't it? Nito, that's past the way past over to you. It gave me the item and then deleted it instantly. Alright, Cold Turin's also got a couple of new customization options, yeah? Like a handful of them. This guy needs some hair. Yeah, he needs a bit of hair. There we go. Beautiful. So we got a couple of new options, like dark. Which is more like just a different kind of dark. Like a brighter red, orange, ginger look? Okay. It's like a brighter blonde. There's like a blue. And there's like straight up just white. Is that a gray? Okay. I don't hate it. I don't look bad at all. 
There we go. Cool children's. Beautiful. There they are. Wonderful. Uh, apparently those are data mine class changes, although there's not a lot of them. It's just like, oh, changes are happening. But it doesn't look like there's a lot of changes really happening. Those scrolls would better be uh, better than random potions of both. I don't give you a PvP chest now. Do you have news to come to live? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'd be kind of neat. I wonder if that's something that we're like, maybe they're testing it like as a testing ground on this new mode and maybe they'll bring that into live realms, right? Like if they're a success or players can play literally whatever class they want to and you can just supplement those buffs with a scroll or whatever so you don't lose out most of the value. Like it's still worth bringing that class because of the buff they give us is better. We we're trying to min max, but it's like only 1% difference, you know, except for the Warlock and Gateway. I think that'd be kind of huge. Another thing that I wanted to check out was actually in Veldrak and the, um, what is it? What is it? These vendors out here where you can switch over your, uh, press. That seems actually kind of big. So they added these new vendors here that let you buy up and trade in your flight stones for the season but also they let you like upgrade gear so you can upgrade gear using like the old currencies oh i kind of want to do this i want to see if i can upgrade my gear with new currencies i just want to see Oh yeah, this guy's trying it out. That's kind of cool looking. You have DPS and the uh, what is it, class color? That's neat. I want to try going to the gear vendor, right? Grabbing an item and trying to see if I can like start interacting with it immediately. It's not gonna give me any of those crests, but the gear vendors are here, so I can like maybe buy an awakened item, right? And see if I can like mess with it. So here's the awakened gear, right? So for new tier sets. Are any of these things not 4 out of 4 mythic? This guy might have like some awakened stuff that isn't 4 out of 4. Uh, yeah, no, a little 4 out of 4 if they are mythic. Yeah, all of them are mythic. I was hoping maybe one item wouldn't be 4 out of 4. That's okay. I can still do what I need to do. To find out whether there's a cap on new currency on bullions it looks like you're, they haven't said anything um all we could go off of is like the data mining that we've been able to find it looks like the bullion unless you talk about bronze bullion maybe you'll be able to stack 20 at a time but i don't think there's a cap on how much you can have i think like once you get 20 it's like hey Go spend it, even if you don't need gear, just buy like a cosmetic, because you, you're going to get too much of it and you can't hold more. It's like, I think that it's trying to like, maybe put a limit just so people spend it. I have no idea. <laughs> no clue. For Jigglesworth? Yeah, it doesn't look like there should be a cap. But again, what we have is data money, so it's not like we can really tell for certain. Wait, why are these Iskara? Why are all these messengers here? All the messages here at once. Okay, so, I can't put this in here, can I? Yeah, cannot be upgraded. That's why. Okay. This is the interesting part, chat. Oh! I have Dracris! Oh! Hold on, I can bring my main! Hold on! I got a bunch of Weplin Crests! Hold on! I can get Weplin Crests of the new season stuff? I want to copy my Rogue now! Where is it? New stuff? New currency? It's not showing up. Huh. I have so many fire women now. Okay, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> okay, I gotta cut my rogue. It looks like this new um, vendors that let you now trade old seasons aspect crests to buy new seasons worm crests. By the way, it's kind of nuts if this is true. If this is real, Dal aspect, Dal crests, Dal crests. 
Wow, what a good name. Um, but yeah, bullion, it doesn't look like there's a cap. Again, all well, we have is data mining, Blizzard didn't say anything. It looks like there isn't cap. You, you can only carry 20 at a time, but it doesn't seem like there's going to be like an actual cap, like a hard cap on these things. Well, who knows, honestly, right? Who really knows? The news knows. Let me just buy a bunch. How many of these can I buy? A lot, apparently. Perfect. <laughs> so you can start the season with a ton of worm crests. If you're a farmer up right now. This is kind of nuts. I'm not gonna lie. The fact that you can just convert all seasons asthma crests into worm crests immediately is kind of insane. And it's 15 for 15, right? It's like 15 of one into 15 of one. Yeah, 15 for 15. I don't think it's supposed to be like that, but maybe that's normal. Who knows? This is weird, man. So all the crests you collected from like initial season, you can still hold on to them. That's weird. Am I the only one that's weirded out by this? And like weirded out in a good way? This is weird, man. Chat, thoughts? The missile knows where it is because it is, and he knows where it is. Yeah, exactly. I am weirded out that Asper Crest can become Worm Crest next season. Press one reset. I imagine not. They're not resetting a PTR. And they added a vendor that trades direct, specifically trades Dreaming Crest, which is season three Crest, into the uh, Awakened Crest, which is season four Crest. There's a vendor specifically for this purpose, specifically for it, by the looks of it. So if you just want to start out with a ton of Worm Crests off the bat, you could. I don't even know how many I got. Can I even tr look at my uh, stat? anything <laughs> wait is this is it is this vendor also on the other realm too or is this just this btr realm i really wish i had an item from season um four <laughs> hold on can i buy an item from season four for like a currency aren't these things season four items I don't remember wrong about that. Oh, I can't get them. I gotta get this thing to buy, to buy them. Okay, never mind. Wait, uh, aren't? I thought you could. Maybe they changed this? Or maybe it was always like that? I wonder if I can go just do like a dungeon on heroic and kill a boss very very quickly just so I can get like an item what would be the easiest boss to kill none of these guys actually ruby maybe ruby Ruby. I'm gonna go kill the first boss of Ruby, boys. I just want to see if I can get an item from Ruby and see if I can upgrade it. I think I kill a lot of Mythic. Mythic is probably gonna be a little hard, right? So maybe Heroic? Yeah, probably Heroic. I can probably solo it. Famous last words. You're gonna have to kill a Mythic Zero boss. Wait, me and you could probably kill a Mythic Zero boss. Like, if you tank and I DPS, we could probably kill one, right? <laughs> We probably could. I just want to see if we can get those items and start upgrading things instantly. I think it'd be hilarious if that is the case. Let's get this mythic. Uh, these things have only 400k health. That's not. Oh, well, I guess that's double my health. I wonder if I could cheese the boss either way. Uh. Can I just walk by? 
Yeah, I can. She has three million health. Can I solo this? Jake, would you want to help me out here? Two man her. I can solo her. I can take her. Melania the Blade. I mean, I'm already did 20% of her health. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. All righty. Hey, friend. Hi. How are you doing? <laughs> mythic, mythic zero boss right there, boys. Right? Or did I? I didn't get gear. Or is this heroic? Normal difficulty. Never mind. I thought this was mythic. Never mind. That's normal. Uh, Jake, do you want to do this real quick? Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. It's normal. Not real. Not real. Not real. Not real. I'm running. I didn't look. I look. I saw the skull and I thought, oh, that's mythic, right? Because it's like a vampire skull. Nah. Nah. <laughs> do you want to help me, Jake? Hold on. Jake. Mythic zero. Real quick. I just want to... If it doesn't work, we'll do heroic. I mean, she died really quickly. She had 3 million health and I burned through her very, very quickly. Invite me? Okay. I can't. It's not letting me. <laughs> what's, he, what's he gonna second, yeah? Man, I just want to see, like, can he actually start upgrading stuff? It was Mythic normal? Okay, it gave me that skull, okay? Dungeon difficulty? Mythic. It gave me a skull. So I assume. That is my fault. I assume. That's, that's on me. Okay, I'm a listed Jake. I'm listed for Ruby. Ruby Mythic. I'll go Brock Cigar. Yeah, whatever works. I don't think server makes a difference. Or does it? I don't know, I'm sure. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, for some reason I thought through mill health. Oh, yeah, those would be nothing. M0. Can we two mana M0? I think we could. Like, if we play correctly, we probably could. Because I don't think I'll die. I, we will need invisibility for you to get through all these ads at the beginning. Or if you could play like a druid and you can stealth. That could work. We could kill that guy at the door because he has true sight. I'm blood DK and one man plus ten. Uh, if you have a blood DK or if you were a druid, you could probably stealth a lot of this. But blood DK will not be able to stealth unless you want to like invest potion and run through it really, really quickly. Because you need to do both. Or I can shroud you as far as I can and then you need to invest past the big guy. Because I can vanish him, but it looks like he still gets aggroed. Get your loading screen, death of me. That's all good. I just want to see if it works. I just want to get like an item for Mythic Zero, possibly, and then see if it's upgradable. That's all. Cause I got a lot of worm crests uh, that I just bought. They're not showing up here. Not yet, at least. I'm gonna get the PTR thing. But yeah. I just not even get an item from the boss. That would be a little sad. But it would be hilarious if we do end up killing it. Is it still loading? Oh yeah, it's all kinds of weird. Well, I have the group listed, so you might be able to find me through this. I'm pretty sure I'm the only one listed for um, Ruby. There we go. Yeah, we'll stealth through, we'll kill that big guy, and we'll fight her. I don't think we should die. At all. But we'll see. Maybe we'll just end up wiping. It's a mythic zero, but it's like a basic plus ten. So... I just want to see, like, if I get an item that I can upgrade, I just want to see if you can start upgrading items instantly, day one. Because that would be hilarious. If you could just load up on a ton of worm crests and just get a bunch of M0 gear and just boost it up really quickly, you could start out with a fat atom level increase in that case. That would be mad. Uh, Mythic. Okay, we're chilling. We just stealth pass, and then you fight the big red dude, and then we fight the boss. Hi, is a remix uh, mop live? No, it's Friday. Friday, Friday. Well, no, it's not going to be live. It's going to be available for testing on PTR Friday. 
Du, du, du. Du, 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 du. Do I have like a... Um... Okay, I don't really. All right. Oh, these guys have a lot more health now. Yeah, nine mil. That's quite a lot more health. Quite a lot more health. Yeah, four mil. They have a lot more. All right. I'm surprised I didn't break one of the eggs. Do, 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 do. Uh oh. Somebody got me out in the open. Okay, it's just this guy. That's fine. That's got a bit, quite a bit of health. It's a little spooky. I mean, he is dying <laughs> in a plus 10. You're just us two. Oh, you're gonna die? Okay, no, you got self heals. You're chilling. You're vibing. Yeah, we'll definitely need to use a lot of self healing because there's no way for me to like help you. You're literally self on your own. Okay. She has 32 mil health. That's a lot of health. Okay. This is going to be a lot. That guy was 13, so she has double the health. So, hope you're ready. <laughs> this is going to hurt. Or at least you face, I think the Welplings might hurt a lot. I'll try to run the uh, thingy far away from you if I can. Yeah, whatever tank you build, you can go for. I think that'll help a bit. <laughs> Oh yeah, I take like no damage. Oh yeah. Yeah, I take zero damage. It's kind of nuts. This might hurt though. Oh yeah, you gotta get frozen. Oh yeah. I can evasion them, I guess. But I think I still get clawed. Oh yeah, that hurts. Yeah, everything there hurts. Yeah, the only way the only way to beat her, I think. We, I mean, we're doing pretty good, right? We got her pretty low. The only way to do it is for you to tank up as much as possible, or I think we need to roar the whelps and power shift to drop the dot. Or the frost debuff on ya. That already just seems to be dispelled. I do wonder if you could power shift it to remove it though. I have no idea. But you might have to like really, really quickly po roar, power shift out, power shift in or something. If you want to try it again, we could maybe give it a go. Because we were killing her. We were doing work for a good bit. <laughs> Surprisingly. Yeah, you might decide to go full on tank mode. I don't know if the power shift even removes the debuff, but it's basically like... Or maybe mass root the whelps, right? Kill the first one. First set of whelps, and maybe we can live the second one somehow. But that, that or they gotta get nuked super, super quickly. Oh, these guys are doing AoE, huh? I think that's how I got caught out of stealth, so you can't stealth past them easily anymore. This will be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> can you do it? You think you can do this? Because we'll give it the best shot I got, right? Like, what else can we do? <laughs> Okay, now we're good. Hopefully. 
probably should have grabbed consumables before this. Yeah, I take absolute zero damage from this fight. It's kind of wild. Is that eight percent? Do the second one. Yeah, on a plus ten, it does no damage. The whelps are gonna hurt them. Power shifting does work. Okay. That could be a way for us to handle it. I don't know if you want to power shift off of that. Try to randomly throw blind for you. Yeah, as long as you don't hit 10 stacks, I think you'll chill in. That's actually doable, man. Too manable. <laughs> okay, another set of whelps. Just gotta stack them. Stop a cast, which is huge. Good power shift. Yep, knocking them back. Roots also help a ton. Yep. I'm gonna run. Can I blind them? Okay, I can blind a bunch of them. I think I am cleaving them though, either way. Yeah, I am definitely cleaving them still. I can't help that. Blade Flurry. Okay, running away. Back in. Oh yeah, well, a lot of them are still trapped. That's awesome, actually. Look at that bear strat. That might actually, that's not really ever a play, is it? And like actual on plus for this place? I don't think anybody ever traps up to whelps, but like, why not? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> We're too bad at a plus 10, basically. That's so good. Gear? Okay, do we get no gear? Do we get no items? We got no items. No loot, man. No loot. Oh, man. I was actually having so much fun, too, man. I was having so much fun. I don't think it's happening. Oh, it's happening. We killed her. Yeah, I'm not doing another one, Jake. We don't need to do the rest. The rest is going to be ass. The rest is going to be cheeks. We're done. <laughs> this place is done. Hearth out. Thanks for helping me, man. We tried. I just wanted to see if like, I could get an item from the boss and then upgrade it using the well press or new worm crest that I acquired. Second boss not doable? I Yeah, probably not. Probably not. That slap she does is kind of painful. Uh, the ad I don't think would be that bad though, but who knows. I think it just would be messy. It's not fun. I'll say that. Uh, is there another boss that's easy? Um, Not worth. Just thinking about it, I'm like, not worth. <laughs> not worth. Uh, get the world quest item. Go get the world quest item. A world quest item. Is there one? Azure planes. Azure span. I mean that works, but I don't know if it'll cost me um, worm crests or whatnot. Right? I'm trying to find an item that I can like spend worm crests on more than anything. I mean that is an option. Is there one in like dream maybe? Emerald Dream. There is an Explorer item. Oh, you know what I could always do? Hold on. I could probably get an item from the... Uh, this thing here. Hold on. From the uh, Emerald Dream quests. Hold on a second. I could probably do like an easy one. Like the rep one. Is the rep one easy? Do I have anything for rep? 
Oh, this will work, right? Oh, wait, hold on. Super Bloom is about to end. Maybe I can get a rep item from Super Bloom. From doing the quest item from uh, quest in Super Bloom. That also gives me an item, right? Is it still happening? That might be perfectly timed, actually. Or is he walking back? I can't even tell. No, it's still happening. He's like stuck over here, isn't he? Yeah, he's stuck over here. Uh, it's a zero zero. I think it's bugged, isn't it? It's probably bugged. <laughs> oh, or maybe I just need to help one. It's probably stuck. Because I don't think he's supposed to be here that long. <laughs> Could be wrong. <laughs> yeah, he's resetting. Or not. Are too far? Yeah, it's probably bugged. Okay, well, there's another one I can do, which is pretty easy. I just need to plant a bunch of seeds, and I can buy seeds from the um, vendor. Do, 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 do. So I just need to plant five of them, and I'll be chilling, and I'll see if I can get an item from that. World Quest item. I'm trying to get an item that's, like, higher quality. World Quest gives me, like... Very basic explorer item, which I don't know if it'll actually do much. Let me go buy my seeds. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, that should. I oh, 60 already, never mind. I was gonna waste. Is it a rare? Oh, no, is this a player attacking the rare? It is a player, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that thing is 11 million health, though. Should I help him? Oh, it, like, changes. Uh, I could probably help him. I don't think if it gives me gear, does it? Nope. But maybe. Outfit? Oh, the troll outfit? That looks so bad on Nightborn. It doesn't fit him at all. That's funny. Disconnected from five competitive games on Overwatch. You get to ban for the entire season. Really? Wait, do you like just DC? Like as in your inner crap out on you? Or... You just like a bail and you're like, you know what? I'll come back. I'll bail. You know, I'll come back. I'll bail. Hmm. Crazy. Was it one of those like, we're back. No, it's over. We're back. It's over. It's, we're back. We're so back, boys. Oh, it's so over. <laughs> Between <laughs> depression and mania. <laughs> okay, one more seed. If either happens. I mean, I guess who's gonna DC and reconnect five times in a row, right? So I guess maybe that's what they're thinking. Like, who's, who's gonna go DC that much? Or leaving or disconnecting for five different games? Okay, so just DCing for five, just... Maybe that's just to promote people like finishing out the matches and actually playing the game instead of like, all right, we lose, go next. So I guess from that angle, I could kind of understand it, but I don't play Overwatch. I don't really know if that's like, um, yeah, I can't comment really. Like on paper, that makes sense, but I don't really know the context. All right, so we finally got an item. Hopefully it's something decent. It is blue. I thought it was going to be purple. Okay, weird. Let's go to... I just used Valdraken port. So Hearthstone, back to Valdraken. 
I want to see if I can upgrade this item. Maybe I can trade more of my crests or whatever. When you disconnect them when the game lets you reconnect at all and they get stuff from Cuban at all. Wait, what? There are times when you disconnect and then the game won't let you reconnect. Like when you're hard DC. Yeah. I wonder if there's like a way to see if it's a hard DC or if somebody bailed, right? They probably can tell on the end. Maybe based on like player input. Oh, five competitive season ban. Oh, I see. I see. What the hell? Why did it drop to like one health? That was weird. I was just like, okay, and then became dead. Can I find the item? Where is it? Where's this chest that I just acquired? This cannot be upgraded. Hold on, let me go to another upgrade vendor then. Do, 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 do. do you upgrade stuff? No, I want to upgrade this one. Upgrade my old stuff. Okay, so maybe like upgrading a gear isn't like a thing yet on PTR. Alright, well I tried. Well, I tried, boys. Alrighty. An GTA of five... The what? Five M servers? I don't even know what that is. Um, can tell the difference between a hard DC and someone alt foring GTA 5M servers. Okay, so if they can tell, there's a good chance I can probably tell as well. I can see four year Ruby Welp. <laughs> Wait, what? You got the Welp shell? How'd you get those out of Mythic Plus 2? Wait a moment. How do you do that? Yeah, plug him in. See, see if you can get anything. Yeah, plug him in and see if it works. A vault? Oh, really? Hold on. Do I have a vault? No, I don't. Wait, it gave you, like, new seasonal vault? That's uh, hilarious, actually. Yeah, too bad I opened up my vault this week. So I can't even tell. Yeah, plug him in, and if you can upgrade it, like, if it's letting you, using the new currency, could you send me a screenshot of it? Just, like, of the actual window with, like, the currency in there. Like, this the window specifically. It won't let you? Okay, that's fine. But it still is interesting that it looks like it will let you trade Season 3 crests for Season 4 crests. Which I think on its own is a cool thing. I don't know if that stays, but who knows, right? Well, we'll see. Alrighty. Well, I think I'm done for the night, boys. Lots of cool stuff in PTR. Tomorrow is a day off for me. I'm probably just going to be prepping for him. Friday, man. So Friday might be a really wild day for me. Might end up streaming the new mode if it's out super, super early. And then probably do... I don't know. Um, new mode and then PTR PvP, I think. No, not PTR PvP, but duels. Yeah. Crazy. Boys, thank you all so much for coming by. I appreciate you. You guys are wonderful. Beautiful. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. I'm gonna go. Get some work done, get some food in me, get some to drink. Then we got Ray tonight, which is going to be oh so fun. Um, and I'll see you guys Friday. I'm not sure when. I know that I'm doing uh, my duels day stream still on Friday. We're still doing duels. But as for like if Friday, I might end up streaming a little bit of the new stuff and then duels right after. So we'll see, depending when it launches. It looks like on calendar it should be up what time 10 a.m wait they have like a blue post on don't they hold on hold on hold on oh, hold on a second mercy boku where is it at ah. uh-huh notes no testing
10 a.m. PDT. So that's going to be uh, 1 p.m. by time. Chat, we might actually have a two streams Friday. 1 p.m. I can be awake for that. Okay, so Friday is going to be an insane day. I'll see you guys Friday. I'm going to rest up tomorrow as much as I humanly can. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are beautiful. Thanks for hanging out with me. Super fun. Uh, yeah. That's going to be cool. Jake, if you want to join me tomorrow, Friday, or for, not tomorrow, Friday, for the thing, that'd be cool. i like a buddy to do this with. Quick can explore, hang out, dungeon, scenario, whatever, whatever. Anyone's welcome to join too. But yeah, thank you all. Uh, I'll catch you guys Friday then. Yeah, that'd be awesome. We could definitely do it for at least a couple of hours. I'll probably do it as much as I can and then take a break and then we'll get our dual stream going. So we'll have two streams at one. We'll see. Um, yeah, or what I might do is I may play it for two hours and then go make a video on what it is and then get the uh, dual stream going. I'll figure it out Monday or Friday. All right, all right, you guys have a wonderful one. Thanks so much. I'll catch you all Friday, then, boys, for some. I was about to say Palunda Storm, but I'll catch you guys in Tim Running Pandemonium. Oh, wow, that's actually gonna be weird to say. Is it a remix? Is it time running? What do you call it, dude? They have like a couple of different names for this thing now. Alright, I'm out Peace.